Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn what is the difference between JSON object and what is the difference between this JSON object and JSON array. When you will call it as an array, what if a JSON file contains both of two things, right? How do you deal with that? Right? Let's have an understanding. What is this JSON object? What is this JSON array? And how we can utilize them? In this video, you are going to get more clarity. So first of all, to understand this, we need to have a JSON data. Now, where do you from where would you get this JSON data? Now, to get the JSON data, I'm going to show you. All you do just type req res dot in request response dot in. This is one of the site where you can uh, get some uh, da JSON data, right? So request res dot in. So now our our main objective is to get the JSON data and understand which one I should call a JSON object and which one I should call a JSON array. Okay, so that is our main goal. So here once you come to this page, here in this section you see there is a set of data. All you do, select this data. Okay, this entire data that you see on the first button. Okay, if you click on the first button, this is what the data you have. Just copy this entirely. Okay, let me see. My browser is not responding. Okay, let me try again. So let me copy this entirely and let's keep it on a notepad so that we can properly read it. Okay, so now I am going to help you whom you should which one in this is the entire JSON data. This is the entire JSON string. Okay, this is JSON string. Now in this JSON string, there are two different things that you may find. One is the JSON object and the JSON array. So what is this JSON object? I'm writing just a comment. Okay. So this is the this is what this you call it as JSON string and JSON string consists of two things. One is called JSON object and the other thing is also called JSON uh, array. Okay. These are the two things which you are going to point out. So when I say JSON ab object, right, when I say JSON object, it is a combination of a name and a value. It's a key and value pair. So if you see there is a name and there is a value. So there is a name and there is a value for it. There is a name and there is a value. So all these are called JSON object. Inside the JSON string, there are multiple JSON objects. So each of this one called this is one JSON object. This is one JSON object. This is one JSON object. So likewise, there are multiple JSON objects. Now, what is a JSON array? Sometimes a JSON object could contain array of JSON objects. For example, this is one JSON object. This is one JSON object. This is one JSON object. JSON object means a key and a value, key and a value. So now you can see this JSON object, right? Containing array of values, single name and array of multiple values. So in this multiple values is always start with a square bracket. So anywhere in your JSON string, when I say JSON string entirely, it's a JSON string. Inside the JSON string, anywhere you find a name containing a square bracket. And it is containing multiple JSON objects. So each are JSON objects. So multiple JSON objects are there. Okay. Multiple JSON objects are there. So and this is a block of JSON objects. This is another block of similar JSON object. The names are same, but the values are different. Again, this is another block of JSON objects. So what is JSON object? JSON object is nothing but the name and the value. And what is JSON array? Any name in the JSON string containing a square bracket and inside that there are multiple JSON objects. So each of these are JSON objects. Okay. And the same thing is kept in a block and it is repeated multiple times. So when this kind of a things comes, how do you extract the data? So here you can see I can very well form a data table right id i can write a column id in the excel and i can write a column email first name last name and avatar because the same thing is repeating and all these values i can write it in the excel row right id 7 then the for this one the id will be 8 then the third one the id will be 9 likewise i can create an excel file and i can have all these values so a json remember this is very important a json array i'm simply writing it here okay so json array can be converted to what 
data table it can only be converted to you can convert it to a data table but when it comes to a json object because it's a key and value pair and a json object can be converted into dictionary remember this json dictionary means what key and value right so json object can be converted into um, a dictionary getting it so json array can be converted into a data table and a json object can be converted to a dictionary so how do i convert a json object to dictionary and how do i convert a json array so when i say json array you should say this is the json array so any json string given to you if i ask you show me the json array then you should know how to find that okay so when anything starts with a square bracket and ending with a square bracket so the entire block would be a json array okay this is entirely json array and this all are json objects so there are multiple json objects and json array is a name which starts with a square bracket ends with a square bracket and inside that there could be multiple json object in any format so in this json it's a block of same thing repeating multiple times or there could be things where you know um, only one object would be there so this each objects i mean each block of object is carried by an index number called zero it will start with zero so this block will start with zero the second block will start with one the third block will start with two likewise it will continue so how do i extract this and convert it to a data table i have pretty well explained this in this video go to my channel automate with rakesh and look for this video ui path json to data table or search on my channel okay json to data table and learn how this can be done next topic how do i convert um uh, json to json objects to a dictionary i am going to show in the upcoming video so please stay tuned and watch my upcoming video on how do you convert a json object to a dictionary all right guys so thank you so much this is an informative video uh, for you to not to get confused when a json string is given there will be combination of json objects and json arrays and you got a complete understanding through this explanation that what is a json object and what is a json array and a json array can can be converted to a data table and the json object should be converted to a dictionary these are the two three points you should remember pretty well so let's move on to our next video stay tuned and please do subscribe to the channel in case you are very new and would like to learn ui path in depth then my channel could help you so please do subscribe and we are going to continue in our next video bye bye